Um, it, it's unfortunate that uh, Sony in one case and Philips in the other case decided pretty much independently to stop producing key ingredients for uh, SSCD players on one side and CD players on the other side. Um, you know, for the mass market, of course, it's pretty much obvious you know, why that happens. But for the audiophile, specialized audiophile market, you know, it's a loss. You know, we're kind of uh, letting go the people who still believe in playing their favorite CD and SACD discs because they believe that sounds the best. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, it's it's unfortunate. So we're we're at the mercy of the, of those uh, companies you know, to follow and build products uh, whatever we can. Uh, but we're also at a time when it's becoming clear that there are better formats, more flexible formats than CD and SSCD. Uh, we can download them. Uh, you know, we don't have to go through the uh, expensive step of putting a master onto a physical platter, putting it into a, a sleeve and then selling it through stores or mail order houses. It's a very expensive uh, production one and a lot of smaller labels uh, cannot produce uh, their recor recordings because the production cost is too high. But if they can uh, put their recordings onto a server and offer them song by song for downloads, even in the original master format, uh, it becomes a different story. So, you know, in one side, you know, we're, we're moving kind of away from CD and SSCD, maybe faster than we really want to, forced by larger manufacturers. But on the other side, we see something coming up that clearly shows us the way to go. Um, so for, for playback designs, it's becoming clear that you know we have to let go of CD and SSCD player or drives, uh, more concentrate on uh, uh, D2A converters and providing a way, an easy way, uh, to connect to uh, uh, computers and servers. Uh, Uh, it, well, the numbers are pretty clear, you know, there's less and less CDs uh, being developed and uh, SSCD, same thing, you know, there's only one production plan in the world now that produces SSCDs. It's only a matter of time when that goes away. Um, so it's, it's pretty clear what's happening and, uh, you know, it's happening a little bit faster again uh, as we want, but uh, what can we do? Uh, playback designs, I mean, my personal expertise always has been uh, converters, A to D and D to A converters, and the reason why I came out with an SSCD player in 2008 is in order to bring out the D to A converter. Um, so the CD drive mechanism or SSCD drive mechanism inside uh, the machine is it's, it's a, you know, a small value added and a convenience factor, but it's not what Playback Designs is really about. Yeah, I mean, uh, stri strictly uh, legally talking, that is uh, true. Uh, you know, the, uh, the SSCDs, most SSCDs are copy protected. And circumventing that copy protection uh, is uh, is basically not what the uh, labels want you to do. Um, but you know the uh, you know, it's an application of common sense. You know this was uh, SSCD was uh, basically defined you know, uh, many years ago uh, with the intent to become a mass market uh, format. So we're concerned mostly about mass market mass market duplication uh, um, and, uh, and piracy. SSCD is not a mass market product anymore or has never been but you know, clearly the intent is not becoming a, a mass market uh, player anymore. Um, so you know a lot of, uh, not, not most, but a lot of DSD recordings that are available on uh, SSCD discs are also available for downloads. Uh, 
um, but the downloads are not copy protected. Mm. So you know where where do we draw the line? Uh, the audio files are not known to uh, copy and copy protected uh, content you know, over and over and ripping everybody out. I think most audio files are basically honest people and know they have to pay for music. Uh, otherwise, you know, there's no more music. Uh, so I don't think that is really an issue uh, that we're uh, facilitating a vast rip-off for the uh, record uh, label industry. I, I don't think so. It's more a convenience uh, and the quality, you know, to enjoy SSCD with an external converter connected through AES-CBU and the DOP format, this is what the user wants. I think we're going to sell maybe a little bit more SSCD discs uh, because of that. Um, so we should not prevent a user from enjoying good quality music by, you know, laws that have been actually written for a different purpose. Yeah, you know the uh, you have to understand the, the way it's set up. You know, Playback Designs is one company marketing you know these these products here. Uh, AK Design is the engineering company that uh, developed all the technology behind it. It's a different company, and uh, under AK Design, I designed you know the uh, the, the DAC module which is in the 3 series, the IPS3 and the MPS3. Uh, this one has a different uh, DAC, uh, it's more discreet, more elaborate. Uh, and uh, AK Design you know, markets you know, the module, the smaller module, to other manufacturers also, who still develop their own power supply and maybe analog output stage and uh, you know, different flavors of, of uh, D2A converters. Thank you. It's an honor.